Welcome back to Telesur English. Venezuela's president, Nicolás Maduro Moros, and his Turkish counterpart, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, holds a joint press conference in the framework of Maduro's visit to Turkey. Let's listen. In this official visit that the President of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, is paying to his counterpart, Felice Pai Erdogan, they are joining, joining they're signing joining agreements on several fields of cooperation, like tourism, culture, and also agriculture, aquaculture, and other areas. Also, as we know, Ankara and Caracas have a long history of cooperation and also of friendship, as Ankara has supported Caracas in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and also in the middle of the U.S. sanctions and other unilateral sanctions and policies against Caracas. entre la República Bolivariana de Venezuela y la República de Turquía en esta oportunidad el ministro de Agricultura Productiva y Tierras Wilmar Castro Soteldo estampa su rúbrica a propósito de esta alianza que tiene que ver con la protección de plantas y recursos naturales y que sellan además el camino de estas relaciones virtuosas entre ambas naciones also in this occasion, this visit of President Nicolás Maduro Moros to Ankara and Turkey coincides with several events in the worldwide context. In this case, as we know, in Eurasia, there is the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, a conflict that has marked international relationships, also has marked international economy and the international food trade and the food chain supplies. Also, this visit coincides with the ninth summit of the Americas and the first people summit. The Forum of the Americas, the Summit of the Americas, is the event, the main event, hosted by the U.S. in the city of Los Angeles, the U.S. government that has excluded Cuba, Nicaragua, and Venezuela, and also the People's Summit is another event, parallel event, that is convened by the peoples, the civil society groups of each country, and is trying to denounce these aggressions and these exclusions of the U.S. This visit of Nicolás Maduro to Ankara is also a way to endorse and to stress the cooperation ties between the two nations. I want to thank you for your visit here with my deepest sympathy. We are very glad that President Maduro and his delegations are here. I want to reiterate a welcome to Turkey. Venezuela is a very important partner, a very important partner in Latin America and the Caribbean. And we will never forget the solidarity that they have shown to us. Venezuela was one of the countries that supported our government throughout the coup, and Turkey has also supported Venezuela in different uh, subjects. We know we are true friends in either good and bad times. Despite the blockade that Venezuela has suffering, their brave leadership has, very, has been very successful. My dear friend, President Nicolás Maduro, has been struggling very hard, as Hugo Chávez did. 
And we know this is a very brave perspective. I want to congratulate you for that. We've recently visited Venezuela in April, and we did the third meeting of the cooperation agreement. And we have improved our uh, bilateral relations. And we have dealt uh, with different subjects, uh, different cooperation agreements. And we are uh, we have a willingness to improve, to continue to improve these uh, relations. We have cooperated in several subjects, including uh, energy businesses, the construction sector, health and tourism, and also in agriculture. We can have a complementary economy and opportunities to to invest in both countries. We invest several, uh, uh, we made several investments in Venezuela. And we have uh, tripled these investments in recent years. So we are guessing that we will finish this uh, year with, uh, to reach uh, $5,000 million in this uh, short time. We have uh, discussed different steps to, to reach this objective. We signed a memorandum of understanding. We have strengthened our infrastructure. And we have different uh, cooperation agreements in education and culture. We have uh, facilitated uh, masters and other internships for young Venezuelan people to study here, and we are going to increase these numbers in the following years. We're going to open a cultural institute in Caracas to straighten our activities and cultural activities in, in the capital. The, the Turkey Cooperation Agency has assumed uh, more than 20 to projects in the uh, education and cultural sectors. We are going to set up an office in Caracas as well. And Turkey's airline is flying to Caracas more than seven times a week between Istanbul and Caracas as a bridge between both countries. With uh, President Maduro, besides our mutual relations, we have discussed uh, international matters. These issues and similar ideas ideas regarding this subject. And I want to highlight that we are against the unilateral sanctions. 
elections against Venezuela. And our commitment against this sanction is very clear. We are going to continue uh, a faithful friend of Venezuela. I want to thank uh, Mr. President. And in July, we are going to uh, visit uh, Venezuela once again. And during this time, uh, some ministers will make contact with their counterparts. And thank you very much, Mr. President, for your visit. We wish a very fruitful meeting. Thank you very much. Mr. President Erdogan. Foreign ministers to the Venezuelan delegation, ambassadors, and every, all of the people present here, the media, international media. I think uh, President Erdogan just made a, just summing up this, uh, what we discussed, and the cooperation between both countries. I just want to add uh, our thanks, the, the people of Venezuela, to you, Mr. President, to Turkey, because in the most difficult times during the COVID-19 pandemic, Turkey was always with us by our side to support us in all the necessary projects for health and to overcome this pandemic as we just did. In 2020 and 2021 were very difficult years where we proved the, uh, the character of our friendship between both countries once again. Our homeland is recovering. In 2021, we, we make the first steps towards stability and economic recovery to consolidate our stability and uh, the rebirth of Venezuela. When you visited Venezuela in 2018, we were in the midst of the storm regarding the, uh, the unilateral measures against Venezuela. And after that, it came the sanctions and invasions, assassination attempts. In 2018, 2019, and 2020, the pandemic came. The perfect crisis, as they say, the perfect storm. But the people of Venezuela, with their resilience, with their conscience, and legacy, the strength of Simon Bolivar, of our commander Hugo Chavez, taking the steps that takes us to this uh, first symptoms of recovery. In 2022, we forecast a growth. There are several uh, broadcasts, all very positive, and there is a reality 
the uneconomic growth the food uh, recovery which I have never seen before the agricultural production the industrial production and in, at, at that time that's when we arrived here in Turkey I just said uh, the president and the investment people that is the, the moment to invest in Venezuela, uh, in tourism, in mining, in the industry, in logistics, in the petroleum, in the gas, in the gold. Turkey investment can come to Venezuela. This is the moment. All the guarantees are on the table. All legal guarantees, the economic guarantee, all the guarantees are there to move toward a process of uh, growth between both countries. You can say, well, you can realize what just happened in the airlines. Every day, Istanbul is connected with Caracas and vice versa. And this is will continue to grow. The tourists who travel from Venezuela prefers to travel through Istanbul to Asia, to Europe and Africa and they rather to enjoy tourism in Turkey. And it will continue to grow. So the conditions are are there. So tourism can grow. In Venezuela, we, we are highly appreciated for Turkey history and their character. And these people that we consider our people. We have a broad uh, map of cooperation, more than 54 agreements, and they are all in development. We just signed three agreements regarding uh, tourism and agriculture and financial. So we are completing this map, this cooperation map. Venezuela is like the phoenix. We have a uh, reborn from the ashes. And Turkey people and you, Mr. President, can be certain that in Venezuela you have uh, loyal friends, working people, and safe people. This visit has been a su very successful, uh, either for the uh, commitments as the uh, friendship uh, environment. I thank you, Mr. President, for the attentions that we have received. And very soon we will receive you uh, with the same uh, solidarity in Caracas. Thank you very much. The first question is from Venezuela. Good afternoon. For both presidents, my question is for President Nicolás Maduro. President, uh, regarding your visit for uh, through Asia in Turkey. What's the role of Turkey in the geopolitical in Venezuela, and uh, what is the importance of your visit in this country? Thank you for your question. Turkey is one of the emerging uh, powers in the region, in this region. It's one of the most important economies in the world. 
It's a country that sums up uh, a great history in the last 700 years. They have a culture and an identity. And it's a very important country for the things that are happening right now in the world. They already play an important role, uh, not only political, but diplomatic as well. We believe so. And we realize this. This is a reality already. That Turkey is a emerging power in the world that it's uh, developing right now. A new world. A multipolar world. Multicentric. A world that will have to defend peace and respect the international rights. A world that would have to defend cooperation, uh, coexistence, dialogue among civilizations, ideologies and religions and cultures. And in this sense, Turkey, it's an example of this dialogue among cultures, of this political and diplomatic dialogue. So in the uh, geopolitics in the world, Turkey it's, uh, has an important role. And Venezuela, from uh, South, South America and the Caribbean, from the Amazon, and also has a voice, a powerful voice. Venezuela is uh, recovering as a country after being tortured. Our country was, has been tortured with sanctions, threats, a blockade. And from this torture we, come we came alive and now we walk towards a, a process of recovery. Although we are a small country, we have very sport important elements. We have the first, we are the first oil research in the world. We have oil for uh, 200 years in Venezuela. We are the first reserve, gas reserve in the world. Uh, certifications have been made to uh, to take us to be the first reserve, the gold reserve in the world. We are very rich in, uh, regarding the value of biodiversity. We have several hectares to produce foods and to develop water, and we have ideas, and we are willing to fight for a, di for a different world, and so Venezuela fulfilled his role from the Caribbean and Latin America, and we work together toward peace, because this alliance that we have with Turkey is to achieve peace, to achieve a friendship, to achieve cooperation. So things are turning good. So I believe it's very important on the world that is uh, developing now. Nobody can stop this. There will no hegemonism. International development will, will prevail, the diplomacy and the wars and the desire of humanity to, to live in peace.
Thank you very much, Mr. President. We are going to have a question from Turkey. I have a question for you um, in Madrid. We are going to have a conference in June with uh, which countries if you have uh, made contact regarding Finland or if some authorities of this country have made contact with you? I have answers. I have answered this question many times before regarding Switzerland and Finland. They came here. We have uh, talked about this issue, and there is a very important thing here. NATO is a security body. It's not a, an organization that supports terrorists and Switzerland, as you already know. It's a country that holds different uh, ter terrorist groups. So these terrorist groups have different uh, functions in the parliament. They're also in the streets uh, in Estocolm. And uh, on the street, we can see the posters and the photographs of different leaders from these uh, terrorist groups. So the police, they don't do anything against these groups. And in the state media there, we can see the speeches from these uh, terrorist groups, from their leaders. So we, we cannot say that they are willing to move forward. We can say that. And the same thing, we can, we can say the same thing about Finland. There's a very similar uh, panorama in, in this country. In Finland, there, is, uh, there are several uh, groups among the country. And in regard to NATO, We have a uh, we have an experience with Greece and France, and we don't have to experience this again. They are now out of NATO, and they have come back again. Francia was out of the group, and then they still go back. This is not true. And now we know that Greece owes more than $400 million. And despite this, European countries are supporting 
and sending helicopters and planes and weapons to Greece. So in the United States, uh, they are also supporting uh, doing the same thing. And against who? We have to ask this ourselves. Just recently, we had a dinner and we just uh, discussed that, that we say we are going to help different meetings between both nations. We don't have uh, third parties involved in this, in these talks. Despite this, after two or three weeks, in the United States, they have made several statements. Uh, they made several statements as if nothing never happened, and they have said things against Turkey, against our interests. We want a uh, decent policy. If decency is out in policy, then we we are not in. I think this you can understand this, right? Thank you very much. We were listening to a joint press conference held by held by the president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro Moros, and his Turkey counterpart, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Erdogan announced new cooperation agreements in education with the opening of several institutions of this kind in Caracas. The Turkey president condemned the unilateral sanctions imposed by the U.S. against Venezuela and stressed that friendly position towards the South American nation. as well as announced his visit to Caracas next July. President Maduro expressed his gratitude to Ankara in the face of the U.S. aggressions and the health crisis ignited from the COVID-19 pandemic while also recalling the numerous assassination plots against him. He stressed that 2020 and 2021 were challenging years for Venezuela, but the South American nation emerged victorious from that difficult time. Maduro called to Turkey investors to bring capital to Venezuela, and he announced an increase in commercial flights between Caracas and Ankara. Maduro also praised Turkey as a reliable and friendly nation towards Venezuela in the difficult times. We will provide you with more information in further 